Hi, I'm Stacy Fletcher, and I'll be playing lacrosse at Westchester New University. Hi, I'm Carly Ball. I'll be playing lacrosse at Bloomsburg. Hi, I'm Macy Halk. I'll be playing lacrosse at Temple. Hi, I'm Gary Grenfell, and I'll be playing lacrosse at Shippensburg. Hi, I'm Victoria Brady, and I'll be playing lacrosse at St. Joseph's University. Hi, I'm Stephanie Culp, and I'll be playing softball at Millersville University. For any of the lacrosse players, uh, you guys have been a powerhouse the last couple of years. Do you feel like the success has kind of bred success and has allowed you to you know, take your talents to the next level because of that? It doesn't matter who answers. Uh, yes, we've always been a powerful team. Uh, every year we win the SOL conference and we've, been, we've made it to states like the past few years and I think Bullets runs a great program and it helps us prepare for the next level because our practices are so intense. Kind of a follow up to that. Um, do you guys feel that North Penn then has like a reputation that helps you get noticed by other colleges when, when you're in the recruiting process? Not everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I think that when you are contacting college coaches and you tell them where you're from, they definitely um, are happy to hear that you're from North Penn because they know the program that we run is really strong. Yeah, I know that does help because North Penn has been a very strong conference for softball and, adult, and coaches know that we have a strong program here. Some really big scorers and some big guns that have graduated and I think these five you know, are hard working and they kind of uh, flew a little bit under the radar in terms of you know, that superstar status and to me you know, they're all stars and they're all pieces of the puzzle. We have a lot of defenders and um, some players that really played some big roles for us as we went into the district game, um, district games and then also the state playoffs. Our first district game, Gary uh, had five goals and two assists against Miss Acton. Macy scored the game winning goal against Conestoga to put us into the state playoffs. And overall, their record, um, including their sophomore and junior season, is 39 and 7 with an undefeated um, league record. And then the only two years that they had the state playoffs, um, they were members of teams that were going to the, the state playoffs. Um, so I think just as a whole, you know, everything that we preach in our program about hard work and, and dedication, that they've really worked themselves through the ranks and may have not been starters as sophomores, but they were contributing members of varsity and um, some were even JV players and they moved their way up to um, getting, you know, and signing national letters of intent to play at the collegiate level. Player, uh, she puts a lot of work into what she does. Last year she matured into not only an outstanding player, but with a group of girls, seniors, uh, she grew into a leader. Uh, last year she had six home runs, uh, which we haven't had in, since I've been here. Um, and in the program, in her three years, or two years in the varsity level, we made it to the quarterfinals of the districts. And she, five of the last six years we've done that, and she continually progresses in helping out with her leadership. But last year, she really had to step up because of the league that we play in and the teams that we compete against. Um, Steph was the only girl on the team that batted over 300 against the CB South, the half Rovers, and into districts. So she proved that she could compete against the highest quality uh, level of that we Okay. Um, my favorite memory was uh, last, yeah, last year when uh, we played Soderton and I got the uh, I got the goal to tie the score and then I got the overtime goal to win and clinch the conference championship. My favorite moment was the Conestoga game that got us into the state playoffs and there's just so much energy and the way we ended the game was just awesome and it's just like the best feeling. Um, my favorite moment was also the Conestoga game. Um, that got us in the state playoffs um, because I made the the goal in the last minute of the game and it was really exciting for me. I think my favorite moment is just getting so far every year and just trying to get a step closer to state um, championships 
and just our team. Like every minute of practice is just fun because we're all working towards the same goal, and it's just really fun because we're a really close group of girls. Um, one of my favorite moments was last year, our first round of the playoffs in the state championship um, facing Rander when we were able to hold them off the first whole half. It just proves that any girl from North Penn can step up to the plate and face one of the best well-known teams. My favorite memory was our game last year against Satterton and it came down, we were winning 3 nothing, and then they came back to be 3-2 with the runner on third, the runner on third, and it was one play that won us the game, and just the whole team pulled together, and it was a good feeling to know we won that game.